Hello, and welcome to this video of how to achieve high availability to Zscaler on Amazon AWS using cloud security connectors from Medihead Bridge. This uh, network diagram looks quite complex, but you will see that it's very, very easy to achieve high availability because everything is automated and it's only three simple steps. The first step is to deploy the connector with the CloneFormation template. After you have the connectors deployed, you need to input your jury uh, credentials and finally to run another wizard for high availability. In these three simple steps, we will achieve full redundancy on Amazon because the connectors have the ability to manipulate the default route to the internet. Then you, you don't need to be worried anymore about the gateway to the internet. The connector will choose which is the best path to internet via Zscaler and will control the default route inside your BBC. In addition to this, the connector has the capacity, the VIP proxy, bypass proxy. Then if you want to do some particular bypasses to the internet, you will be able to do it as well. Then with this capacity and the simplicity of configuration, you will have in hand all capabilities to Zscaler to manipulate your traffic in high available way. Let's go first to the first step. First, first is you need to select the, the subnets you want to deploy the connectors. In this case, I'm using these uh, four subnets, external and internal for each one. Please know that the availability zones are different. It's using 1A, one pair is in 1A, one, another pair is in 1D. Your next task is to go to the marketplace and to run the deploy the connector from the marketplace. You need to subscribe, you will need to continue to configuration, you need to select the region here where you want to, to, to launch the connector, and finally select the clone formation template. Easy. When you click here, you will re redirect it to the clone formation stack. In this case, you, the only requirement is put the name, whatever your name you want, and I put the same name for the stack and the instance always just to keep it the same. Select the BPC, in my case it's using this, and my external subnet, this is my external subnet and my internal subnet. Remember the only requirement here is to, um, to, to have these two subnets on the same availability zone. And finally select uh, the instance type, we recommend to use T3A because it's cheap and very, very good in performance. You can use a small, medium, or large. That's, uh, but in terms of performance, small is good, it's half gig. Uh, medium is more than half gig. Uh, and large is when you want to achieve one gig, or sometimes it's also capable to do more. And put uh, select the key to connect to the instance. That's very, very easy. Only external internal subnet, put the name, select the instance, and the key. The CloudFormation, click next, next, next. The CloudFormation template will do everything for you and it will launch the, the instance automatically. Your first task after the, the launch is, uh, of the launch of the instance, is to go to check the Ethernet one and to see which is the private IP of Ethernet one. Ethernet one is the internal interface of the connector. Then you need to SSH the connector on this IP, Ethernet 1 IP. I have here the, the connection already done. And when you start the connector, you will receive the, the this is your, the welcome, the wizard to the jury credentials. And the connector will show you which is your public IP. With this information in hand, you know to open a ticket to Zscaler and ask for the GRE uh, credentials. In return, uh, Zscaler will provide you an email with these values, primary destination, second destination. 
then the only task you need to do here is to run this wizard and to copy paste the values done this is the only task you need to do you need to do in both okay you you when you go to to the other other connector uh you need you, the connector will show the, the the ip public ip submit a ticket to cell scaler cell scaler will return these values just copy paste the values and you are ready to go then the first step um, please 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 uh, remember to create the locations on the on the cell scaler console for these two public ips those two geo tunnels create the location and this is all that you need to do for the moment then the first step uh, launch confirmation template is click 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 select the external internal interface the second one is just open a ticket to sales scaler, copy paste the credential and then let's go to the high availability now uh, for high availability is also very very easy I will put no here the only task you need to do is to uh, go to the wizard yeah, high availability wizard and the, the, the wizard explains what you need to do and let's do a quick uh, overview let's say well deploy a pair of CSCs we did it uh, we have a pair uh, be sure that there is con connectivity between each other of course the, the connectors will talk via internal interface then you don't need to restrict the communication between them and uh, normally it's by default on, on Amazon is allowed to talk the, the next is say create a role an identity uh, and with this values then we need to create a role I have the role assigned here on an identity and access management and the role has a policy that allows on easy to to read the instance and to read the routing table and also to write the routing table because the connector is going to replace the route uh, in addition to this we want notifications then on this role we also allow to publish a uh, short uh, simple, simple simple message in order to receive the notification then uh, th we need to have the role we uh, I created this this role for the connector and we need to apply to the instance then you need to come to the instance and to apply the role to the instance for those who never did it before just go to instance settings attach replace EIM role and select the role period apply okay very 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 simple to do then in both you need to have the role assigned because the connectors are going to manipulate the routing table um, let's continue with the wizard then say get the routing table ID what is the default route to the internet good I will uh, go to my um, routing table and I have this routing table that I'm using where is the default route to the internet uh, this routing table has these as these associations these subnets it means all these subnets will send the traffic via the connector these are affected by the routing table then all traffic you want to send to a scaler you need to put the subnets here and you need to take note of the routing table ID that's it good also quick quick uh, please be careful that you need when you are putting the default route via the internet you need to have another route to your internal services or public IPs and in addition to this remember you need to create endpoints for uh, the services you want to connect because because the traffic is going to be as a scalar potentially you will lose connectivity to some internal AWS services then please be aware you need to create an endpoint in my case I need to create to EC2 and to SNS to be sure that the connector can reach these services in order to uh, get the information of the instance and to send a message then routing table 
again let's do another view create the route create the default route here this is the value the connector will modify put the subnet you want to send via a scalar and be careful to create additional routes you need for your internal services and the endpoints to reach some particular services on the uh, on Amazon. Uh, then let's continue with our uh, wizard here and say get the instance ID of each other in the part. That's easy. It's all about to go to the instance and to check which is the instance ID of each one. Then I, I put on this text txt the values we need is just the instance of each connector, the routing table. And finally, they say create SNS notification and, uh, and get the name. Okay, and get the, 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 the number. Uh, I created the notification. This is my notification. Then the connector will use this notification. I have the value here. Then now your only task is to run this wizard on each connector and to input the values. Which values you need to input? the routing table to touch, the instance ID of the other connector, and the message, period. This is all that you need to do. I already did on the connector, then I will not execute, but it's very easy. Then with these three simple steps, launch the connector, is done automatically, two connectors, run the configuration wizard, put your credentials, and the high availability wizard, just input this three steps, you have full uh, high availability to set scalar. Let's do a quick test. Uh, I have a, an instance on, on, on Amazon at this moment. Uh, and let's take a look at show configuration status. Show configuration status is the menu that will show everything for you about the connector, uh, the, the values of Amazon, the values of the interfaces, the IPs for traffic redirection, the BAP proxy, the bypass proxy, uh, the public IPs in use, the, the tunnel information, the keep alive the status, the layer 7 keep alive, the tunnel keep alive inside the tunnel, uh, how is the status, what is the primary tunnel active, uh, what is sorry, the tunnel status is the primary tunnel active, uh, what we're using, we're using cloud. Uh, Washington DC on Sunscale 3, uh, if the bypass proxy is active and working, uh, let's see log information, and finally high availability. And the high availability at this moment is showing that uh, the default route to the internet is this ZSE. Okay? If I go to routing table, I need to check this any value, then let's go to the routing table at this moment select my routing table and this this value on internet let's do a quick test uh, for the moment uh, I have on this machine this machine is on Amazon behind the connectors and if I go to ipscaler.com you can see I'm using this public IP uh, in particular this machine has two browsers Chromium and Google Chrome Chromium is using pack file this moment. This will allow me to do bypasses. As you can see, it's pointing to the BAP proxy of the connector. And I have here as well another browser, also living from this IP. Uh, in this case, this browser has not any proxy settings. Then it's going direct to the internet via the tunnel. Then the tunnel uh, says scalar is intercepting this traffic uh, directly. Uh, let's go a quick test. Let's try to go to the instance. This one A. This is the current one with the um, this with the default route to the internet. What I will do is to reboot this instance. And what we expect. When rebooting this instance, that is the current active default root, we expect the other connector to check that the primary is gone, is not active anymore, 
then the secondary connector will take the role and will modify the root and will put the default root via their own network interface. Then the user will not see the difference because uh, the connector has the capa capacity to uh, manipulate the routing table in one um, in one direction or another direction. Uh, in addition to this, the connector will send a notification message saying the route was changed, the routing table was changed uh, in that region using now the interface ID of blah 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 next one. Okay. Then if I come here to my take some time to to shut down, but if I come here this value should change to the new connector. Okay. Now, if I come back to, I need to SSH this connector was rebooted, and to do show configuration status, the this connector shows okay. The, now the the HI is in the other CSC, in the secondary one. If I come here. It will show you that now this is the CSC and the routing table was modified. And if I come to my instance here on Amazon, you will see that this public IP will change. Let me do it quicker. Let me open the new tab, please. Do this one. Okay. Let me do the same here. Okay, this is still, because this is the pack file has the primary, this is still using the other one. But this one, with is used, it's no pack file, it's using the, the default route to the internet. This one is using the new IP. Then, as you can see, the process is completely automated and you don't need to be worried about any more uh, the default gateways on the internet. Three simple steps. Deploy the connectors put the GRE credentials, run the wizard, and you have a full high availability connectivity to Cellscaler. This is the end of this video. Please contact us at supportmedihebridge.com if you have any questions about this. We will support you, we will help you to, to your design. Don't worry about it. Please contact us. We are ready to help. Thank you very much.